busy and so I, I had to leave the dogs with him and now she's back. She, he was staying with Wiki because Wiki wasn't doing well. We were keeping Wiki company. I have another dog. So she's kind of like the podcast mascot. Okay. And we have Seth from freaking Crazy Town here with What's us today up? to tell us some fucking crazy ass stories which we are so excited. Thank you for coming here. Oh, it's a pleasure I wanted to, to te- I wanted to tell you, you know, the butterfly is like that's the name of the song, right? Yes. Am I saying it right? Yes, You're like so over it because you've heard this probably a thousand times, but that was like the anthem to like my teenage years. That was my fucking favorite song. And I know I'm probably speaking for a ton of people that are listening right now because that was like the song. It's the song. Dude, it, it was the <laughs> song. Like that's for me, one it's of the, the song. One of the bit I know it's for you. <laughs> You're like for me it's the song that I hate it now. No, I'm just kidding. But you're probably over it, but I love it. No, and I, still I will love it. always I love, love it. it. That song's been really good to me. And that, that girl sense. in the video was just so hot. Like, just like it was just such a dope vibe. Like, you, it was such an important cultural song of that moment. Oh, you dang. know, I just wanted to tell you that because I and I still listen to it. Like, it's one of those songs that it's like it just kind of like no matter what year it is. That's what's cool about it. Is it, it's, it's ageless it's or timeless. Stood the test of time. Yeah. Yes. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. For all my young kids who don't. No, you need to look up uh, Crazy Town Butterfly. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you already know, even if you're young, because kids are kind of hip to that shit these days. But yeah, and it was so... in the movie Sing, so all the kids are bumping. Oh, it yeah. was yeah. with the with the little cartoons. Yeah, the, the cartoons. Sing. I love that. That's so rad. It ends up in stuff. I mean, it's a little dirty. I don't understand how it got oh, into right? a movie like that, but somehow it, it they it cut out all the up. dirty parts. They're like such yeah. a such a pretty pretty little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like make all the words different. They're like, um, that's not how it went. Um, that's so crazy. And you know what's weird? You actually look the same. You haven't aged. Oh, I mean, I've aged. I've, I've been through a lot. But, I know, you know, but you don't look like it. I mean, I'm doing all right. Yeah, you look... For, for all the uh, shit stuff you've I been put my through. body through. Yeah. I'm, I'm blessed, you know. I always I always say this to Tommy, too, because Tommy uh, has obviously been through the ringer as well. But <laughs> in some ways, he's like, I feel like the drugs preserved me, in a way. Not to encourage anyone to do drugs, but <laughs> right, he's always no. like, he's like, I feel like they just kind of pickled me so that I kind of just stayed the way I was. Yeah, and now I, think, I think that happens with a lot. I mean, a lot right? of people... I think when I'm on the drugs, you I don't look. look yeah, of, oh right? my god! But, but I, I think when I come back from that dark place, like I, I, yeah, I clean up well. How are you feeling? Everything. I feel is amazing. Good. You yeah. look awesome. Yeah, I feel really good, and and uh, so, yeah, it's good to be happy. I'm it's so glad you seem so happy. So, what's new in life right now? Like, what do you you got a new album coming <clears throat> out? Well, um, yeah, yeah, I'm just finishing. It's it's my first record. Uh huh. Without. Brett, who's my partner in right. Crazy Town, who I started Crazy Town with, but he supports it. It's kind of like, I I got sober. Right. He, I was out being crazy for a couple decades. Yeah, so, you were Crazy Town. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so he's got, I think, he's got about 12 years sober now. That's fucking awesome. So he, uh, he's just really happy that I'm doing well, and Good. I was like, I'm going to go to her, because now that I'm yeah. sober, that's all I want to do is, is, is do what we've always done. And he yeah. said, man, go go for it. So I'm I'm basically keeping the the brand of Crazy Town. I put an X on the end of it just to it's kind of like me without Brett. Right, but, right, right. But you know now Brett Brett is talking and we're gonna do a reunion record. But totally. but this record that I'm putting out right now is really the first record I've ever made sober, and um, <clears throat> I love it. I'm just just we're mixing it now and I'm super happy with it. I'm proud of it. Yeah. And, and uh, it's been super fun. I I, I put together. The most random group of super creative people that I've met over the years. Like, I started out touring and, and finding the right band members because three members of Crazy Town overdosed. So it, it's and died. Yeah. So I did not know that. So I was the one that was everyone would have bet on to die, but I lived, and and a lot of my good friends died. So putting together a band, <clears throat> I had to rebuild the band, and so so I I met, I ended up. Finding, you know, one kid from New York. I have two kids that I took from bands in, in Italy. Oh, my God. And, um, How did you meet them? I was touring out there, and I saw I saw a band open up, and I, I was blown away by them. They're called What a Funk. What a Funk. I and, feel like I've uh, heard of them. Yeah. They're, they're uh, no, maybe not. 
They're a great band. Anyway, cool. they're you know they're they're all like ten years younger than right, me or right. fifteen and and uh, but they're the they're the real deal and they're amazing players and I'm all about having a great band behind me. So yeah. I, I put together a band and I'm proud of it. And I'm so happy for cool. you. Yeah. You look great. And I'm so I don't like know where did you grow up. I did grew up, up in LA. LA? Yeah, you I'm did. an did LA you grow kid. Up in, like Long Beach. Where did you grow up? No, no, I, I I grew up in West LA. You grew up in West LA. Yeah, I went and I went to, I mean, I went to a lot of schools, but I, I you know, I went to Emerson. I Were went you to a bad a, kid? I was a super bad kid. Yeah. Really? Did you have to go to like a uh... contin? I was in all the continuations. That's what I, I got gonna... kicked out of the district. You know. Stop! Yeah. Oh my god. So what was the deal? You just ADD, like hyper, just outspoken, or what? I yeah, I think I think I had. Um, a little dyslexia, but I was right. also like skater, graffiti artist. Like right. everything I did was creative. Right. Like I, I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't really excel at school, but I excelled at other things. Right. You so, were artistic. You're like, I don't want to fuck with these numbers. I right. Got some, I was like, like, I got a band. Yeah, I got music to make, <laughs> I got a bro. Band, you yeah, know? yeah. And uh, for a long time, even I wasn't sure if that was going to work out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and I then, dropped out of school to do it. And so did up, Tommy. I ended yep. up getting <clears throat> into a lot of trouble, you know, when you I did. dropped out, like I got involved in, you know, drug dealing and gangs and what, what, whatever it is, you know, I was, I was, I was, I was in it. And, There's and just, those are some worsts. Yeah. I'm sure some you have worse. some worse from that. And, uh, but actually it led me to, you know, I was always making music throughout it. Yeah. But the music wasn't popping and, and I had bills and had to live life and yeah so it kind of uh it ended up setting me up to meet the people that ended up making it happen making it happen so wow so it all kind of led you to where you needed to be even though it was kind of a crazy path yeah it was crazy it was a lot of fun you know back then like looking back like i spun out of control later right but i i, I was kind of out of control the whole time but right there was a point when it was fun and then it just got and what about your parents? Like, do they, are you close with them? Like, did Super they... close with my family. And they um, were like, what about when you were going through all this? Were they like, Jesus Christ, Seth. Oh, yeah. Give us a fucking break, dude. Can you not that, spray that's paint? Actually, like... That's exactly yeah. what my mom says. She, I, she was, oh, Seth. Oh. oh Seth. But now she's super proud of me. I mean, yeah. I've always had, I, I have a super big heart. So, like, my family was always, I mean, uh. I got into a lot of trouble, but I've always maintained a connection with them, and and, and uh, I've always tried to like not destroy myself. Yeah, but it, but it it's happens been sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, I mean, we all do this. Like, I mean, I like I've talked about this on here. I talk about mental health a lot because it's really important to me. I've gone through crazy shit with my mental health, and like, you know, sometimes I think we're in a certain headspace, and you know, it just drives us in a bad direction just because we're in such a bad headspace and it's like until we start really addressing like what's going on inside of us are we able to like turn it around or learning ourselves and, and, and learning right. how to react exactly. like knowing yourself is is you know sometimes you learn from all that stuff so it's the hardest thing man it and it hard. takes years like i mean i'm talking about like i've been in therapy since i was probably like i don't know 13 12 like right. even younger and still i'll have times where i'm you know and i still go you know and it's like you know you have times where you're like oh, no, like, I've got my life figured out. Like, I know how to handle everything. And then something will come in up, and you're like, ooh, you know. Curveball will curve hit you. Yeah, and just... I don't really know how I'm going to react to this and that kind of thing. And so, you know, no one's perfect. I think we're all we're all consistently works in progress. You I know what I mean? Yep. It's like you're I not totally ever finished. I, I think that's one thing in life. People are always trying to reach this point of being finished. It's like you're not really ever finished, you know. And you're some constantly... of the people that act like they have it all together yeah. are the worst. So they don't. No one does. Yeah. So. No one. Even the most put together people in the whole freaking world. Fucking Tony Robbins, I guarantee he's got some issues. Some issues. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> for real. So. Okay. So speaking of stuff, do you want to tell me a story? Like one of the craziest things that's ever happened <clears throat> to you, or I mean, you've had an insane life. So I don't know what you want to start out with. Well, I mean, to put it. Basically, I mean, you know, I've, I was on celeb celebrity rehab a bunch. I mean, yeah. everyone knows that yeah. I was a complete disaster. Like, right. I got to a point with my career and the way the way it had gone and the band breaking up and a lot of close friends dying that I yeah. kind of... I didn't know you were on that. Yeah, I was what on was it. What was your drug of choice? Like I seasons. didn't watch it. They kept I didn't bringing watch me it back. Like, Is it that was, with Dr. Was, Drew? Yeah. What who's, was your, who's rad? No, what was your that. drug of choice that you were, if you don't mind? Um... Well, it's, it started with cocaine and ended uh -huh. up being free base and crack and, and really, yeah. 
What is crack like? Crack is um, it's a hell of a drug. Yes. Damn, that's the the, the tagline. <laughs> crack, a hell <laughs> of a drug. drug. <laughs> yes, it's quite the drug. What um, does it do? Just to make you like hyper and shit. For I've me, taken it turned, Adderall. For me, it turned off everything. Okay. So I Makes think a, I think a lot. Okay. No, no, it doesn't make me calm. It right. makes me redecorate. But the uh redecorate. You, you know, um it shut shut off all the shit that was driving me crazy. In your head? In my head. And and I probably would have found, you know, I don't don't I I, I did everything. Right. But that's the one I grasped onto. And I think the reason I went more cocaine and I'm probably still alive is because so many of my friends died from heroin. So I was like, right. I am not going that way. Yeah. So I just did coke to the most disgusting point. You're possible. like, this is safe enough. Yeah, You're safe like, this enough. is the I don't less- have a bunch of friends who have died from coke. This is the lesser. But now of coke's two killing evils. everybody because it's oh, got it's fentanyl, fentanyl in it. Yeah. Everyone's dying but, from coke. Everyone. But in my my time, yeah, it wasn't killing you. It would just right. destroy. It would just make your life miserable. Right, right. So, so you struggled with that for a really long time. And uh, I mean, we all have had, I mean, I used to be take Adderall kinds of weird shit and I'm totally sober too and don't drink or do any drugs or anything right. like that. But um, now in your life, like, isn't it so crazy how, I, at least for me, speaking on myself, is like how much clearer everything gets and you're like. I mean, it. I love being Sober. Isn't and my mom, so my crazy? mom used to say, like, because I, I went to every treatment center. In the yeah. World, you know? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and she used to say, you know, you're not going to get sober because of your job. You're, you're going to get, you're going to get sober, but it's going to be when you're finally ready for yourself, for yourself. to get sober. And yeah. so, you know, that's what happened through a chain of events is like now, um, I've got like two years and, and it's, that's but it's, amazing. It, it, it's, it's a different sobriety you know i've had a year before where i was just totally miserable and didn't feel right and now i feel like you feel like i can be sober forever yeah i think it's it's like it's about finding the time when you're ready and it's also about like the support around you and making friends it's the perfect storm of people around you that that makes it possible you know yeah and for anyone who's listening to this who's struggling or you know has issues or addictions or whatever and i'm talking about everything i mean i have friends that you know they can't go to bed at night without xanax so it's like it's like there's all kinds of different addictions from cocaine to crack to xanax to ambien like it's like you know it doesn't matter how big or small it is it's still an addiction and you know um there's lots of resources and i'll actually i'm going to tell them to put some stuff in the bio but um but yeah, like just know that like you're not alone and you're not alone dealing with this stuff. There's been so many people in the world, obviously, almost I'd say 80 percent of the world has like, you know, an issue with something. Absolutely. And like I think it affects like everybody, every family. Exactly. In, you know, like it's world, huge. So. so don't feel like, you know, you're the singled out person struggling. Like there's so many people out there like you and there's so many resources. So um, I'll put a link to that in my bio. But also, um, also, like when 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 I talk about drugs, like in 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 the program or alcoholics yeah. or whatever yeah. you know, that I'm in, <clears throat> it's like people tend to like look back at the the craziness and yeah. laugh at it because yeah. you know you can cry about it too. It's it's not a yeah happy thing, like, right? You know, but but at the same time, some crazy shit happens. Yeah, it is what it is. So like looking back on it, like. It's insanity. So, so yeah. looking back, that I lived through it, and now that I'm in a good place, you, you know, can, can talk about it. I can like, talk about it, and and uh, like, what's one of the craziest things you would say happened to you? Well, I mean, there's so many crazy stories. <laughs> I, I, I mean, the swimming off the island story I did when I when I, I went to I went to a rehab in Antigua. It was Eric Clapton's rehab. Antigua. Oh, I've heard about that. And I had been to like you know every rehab in around and there was a guy named buddy arnold that, that had uh he he ran the musician assistance program oh, and he, nice. he sent me to so many different rehabs because when you're in the industry and you, yeah they have like music care they have like all like these, these yeah. you know ways to help people and i was like you know they're uh I, I became like a pet project for him because they're he like was we're fascinated. gonna fix this guy he's yeah. like this guy is so messed up but oh. uh so they i mean i I have many escape stories from rehabs. You escaped? So, so yeah, I escaped. I escaped and I swam. Uh, I tried escaping on land, but there was only like the way they have it set up. It's So I swam to another island. <laughs> and uh, So it was in the middle of the ocean in Antigua. And I jumped in the ocean and just swam out of that motherfucker. Is there and sharks? Have, that, yeah, that's what I found out later. 
I found out that it was like shark infested waters and all this stuff that I, if I had been thinking that when, uh, when I was swimming, I would have had a heart attack because it was already so brutal. Like I had to go through marshes and there was snakes and there was like- Marshes? Yeah, it was nuts. It was nuts. I mean, the story, the story is a really long story, but- But tell me some of it. So you were there and how did you get, how did you escape? Like how did you, was there like- Well, I tried to escape. Like th- basically it was fucked up because I got, I got there and I was like put into this, this fire pit, you know, with- I got there. It was like a weird day. Uh-huh. I'm detoxing. I'm coming off. You're shit. feeling like shit. Yeah. Um, you know, I ran into some other people that were there. That I was like, okay, I'm in the right place. But then, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but then, uh, <laughs> I love that she's grabbing. Yeah, um, long story short, is I was. It, it wasn't really like I needed to be with someone who like they had to like medicate me to come down. And, right. So they I got didn't there. You? Well, no, my counselor was gone, and I just had. They have a bunch of Antiguans working there who are like, "Honey, just sit in the fire pit." And they're like, I "We'll give you the... some bamboo leaves <laughs> yeah, to chew on." You're like, "What the like, fuck? I need some valium. Yeah, I'm fucking twitching like, out of my brain." Your counselor will be here on Monday, and they sent me into this fire pit, and it was that's really, insane. And it's like a super expensive rehab, I, and so like I got I got a I got a complimentary bed because I was yeah you know because the music companies so, yeah, yeah they 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 uh, so I went there and. There's like the there was one girl who's coming off heroin. I was like I relate to her, but the rest of them were like spoiled rich kids, rich kids, I love and oxycotton pills. Yeah. Not to like diminish your problems, because <laughs> right, right. obviously like it's a problem. There was yeah. like a bunch of like wives that were going through divorces that right, were there right. for drinking too much wine, oh, and there yeah. there was you know there was one kid who had smoked too much weed and was offering me like a Range Rover if I could get him out of there, and like <laughs> it was just like you know I was like oh my god. <laughs> He's like, it might smell like weed, but you know, it's sick. Yeah. He's like, dad. my dad will give it to you. I promise. Yeah, it was just nuts. So then, so, so then you're there. So, they didn't so fucking I, give you uh, any medication. They didn't give me crazy. any medication, and it was beautiful. Like mm-hmm. when I went there, I like stopped at like Val Surf, and I got all these like surf clothes. I was like, I'm going to the Caribbean. It's on. But then when I got there, it was, it was it's rehab. Ill. It was rehab, and yeah. and and it wasn't like the other rehabs that I'd been to where they like detox you, and it was just kind of. That's crazy. weird. And they took away my music. They take away everything. Yeah, they took away the days. music. I was yeah. like, this is Eric Clapton's rehab. How are you going to take away my music? You know, I need my music. So, you get nothing, your phone, everything. So, so, you know, over over the first 24 hours, I decided that I was going to escape. And so, I, like, I put together this whole plan. And I got money from all the different uh, people there. Because they only gave everyone, like, 20 bucks to buy stuff at the little mm-hmm. store. And they put everything, your passports and everything, into a vault. So I like rounded up like I. A How bunch. did you go up to people and say that you were like? Everyone wanted to leave. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna leave. So like I can go and I'll come back and bring you back stuff. I'll send, I'll rescue you guys. Really, um, you're just like give me your money. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, never fucking so coming somehow, back here. Yeah. Somehow, I mean, I, you know, it's all cloudy. But anyway, I put together like this little baggie of money, and then I found like a local Antiguan cook that uh, told me, you know, that island over there is the port for cocaine. And I was like, that island? So I kept, first I tried to like sneak out through this goat field. Goat field? Yeah, there was, like, <laughs> there was like goats and there was nothing. It was like desert and there was nothing. There's like Joshua trees and goats. And, and, and the goats are all just looking at you. And I hopped the fence and I'm like running out there. And then they like send out these like little Land Rovers to like look for me. And I'm like hiding in the goats. I'm like down in the, the goats. The goats are like farting in your face. Yeah, it was burnt. horrible. Yeah. They're I'm chewing down in on the your goats. Head I was like, this is a bust. So yeah. finally they found me and they're like, we see you in the goats. And they're like, you're not a goat, dude. <laughs> you're not a goat. We see you. <laughs> we see you. <laughs> you're all standing next yeah, to the goats all... acting like a goat. <laughs> And uh, so they pick you up. They, they brought me you back, but that's when back. I found out about this island. So were then, you fighting them? I wasn't. I was okay, like, you, you got like, me. I, it was a lost cause. It was like the way they have it set up. Is yeah, there's only like, like one gonna, bridge yeah. to the other island, which right. is across right. a harbor. And anyway, so then you go back. So I go back, and and I hear from like cause they have to hire locals. So there's also like Antiguan drug addicts that are there that get free beds because they, it's part of the deal they yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah. So there's this old cokehead, and he was just like, you know, he was a chef. And he, we started talking, and he was like, man, there's so much cocaine on that little island over there. Like, you, like it's like five bucks for an ape. And he works there? Well, he was a recovering chef, addict. Yeah, at the, at the place, yeah. So he was just telling you stories. Just telling me stories. Right, and right. I was like, what, what island? You're like, tell me more about this <laughs> island. Me I mean, I don't want to do drugs anymore, but and, just in case, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, 
And then I actually got to the point where I was like, make me a map. Like, where on that Stop. island? Yeah, so he made me this little map. So I got a map and I got this little bag of money. And, and, uh, oh my God. and I started looking at this island. You know how things like when you're in the ocean, it looks closer than it really is. Oh, yeah. So I was like, man. I That's was not on, that far. I was yeah. like, I was on the swim team when I was in third grade. <laughs> like, like, I was like, I can make that shit. I was like staring at it going, man, you know, I think I could make it. You know, I was in the swim team in third grade. <laughs> I can't. I was like, I think I could do it. And also, like, I lived in Boston for a little while. Uh, I lived in Boston for a little while. So we would, uh, as kids, we'd jump off the rocks and swim across this harbor. It was like a quarter. You're like, I swam through fucking lobsters. <laughs> yeah. I swam through fucking I used to steal lobsters. lobsters. I used yeah, to yeah, yeah. go down and steal them out of the traps. And wow. Get but anyway. So you're like, this I can fucking I handle. I was like, you know, yeah. it's like four of it's like swimming across like four times. Yeah. So I one day like they were mad at oh they were telling me how to dress. They're like pull up your pants. Oh. Take off your hat. And I was like, man, take off your hat. They didn't want me church? to look like gangsta. They were like, oh. they're like you're sagging. You know, pull up your pants. No hats. And I was like, man, you take my music. And yeah. I, tell me how to dress. Tell me how to dress. I'm out. Yeah. How long were you there at this point now? Probably like. 18 hours. Um, <laughs> I'm all thinking it's been days. Like I was there for 20 minutes. <laughs> Fuck that place. And I was like, I'm out. <laughs> just doesn't even so, give it a chance. I'm so finally this lady came over and was screaming at me and I like took a walk down the beach. They would let you go by yourself? Well, it was it was secluded. You're yeah, on an yeah. island. They were like, like, he's not going to get anywhere. Like it was basically on the, on the water, but like no one had ever swam out. So they're like, no. One I went down there and I was like, I just need to think. Leave me the fuck alone. And I went and like sat on the beach and I'd already put, I, I, I must've gone to the beach a couple times, but anyway, I had the map and I had this little Ziploc of, of money. Yeah. I had put together like 200 bucks, but whatever. It was just like, you know, I was hustling. So <clears throat> I had like this little baggie of money so it wouldn't get wet in a Ziploc and I had a map and an attitude. And, and so I, I sat on, I sat on the water and I was just like, you know, this is it. Either I'm going to do it or I'm not, you know? And so so I just went for it. Was and the water warm or cold? <clears throat> the water was cold. And, <clears throat> you know, I didn't take all this shit into consideration. Like, you've been on drugs for five years. Like, you are not in good shape. Uh -uh. You know, like... When's the last time you fucking had to swim for your life? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I was just like... I was going right back to swimming across that harbor. I was like, I could do it. Yeah, I don't so, care if I was six. I yeah, was... I was totally delusional. So I was like, okay, let's. So they they started walking down to me with a couple like guys in white outfits. Like they were Ready they were mad at me. You. Yeah, and I just jumped into. I, the ocean. I had my Converse and I was sitting there on the beach and I tied the shoestrings together. I put them around my neck and I just j jumped into the water and they started screaming and you know running around and I just swam out as far as I could and by the time <clears throat> like. I just kept swimming, and none of them jumped in after me or nothing. It was like they're like, "There's fucking sharks in there." I'm yeah, not fucking they're doing like, that. so yeah, I, yeah. I I swam and I ended up swimming, you know, all evening. Like I was doing like this dead doggy all paddle. All evening, yeah. <clears throat> like for it was like probably three, four hours. You, you swam know? for three hours. Well, I didn't swim. I was like a Laying dead seal. There. I was <laughs> like, like, I was like talking to God, going, "At least let me get to the island." Like you know, Were you like floating. I, I was just floating, and and I I I mean I didn't. There was like these weird buoy things in the water, like, you know, like uh -huh. with flags on them yeah, and shit. Yeah. So it wasn't like I was just out in the water. You'd like I'd stop and hide yeah. behind them and yeah. chill for a minute and think about like, is it it's closer to go back? Yeah, is it closer <laughs> to go back or is it closer to <laughs> Or do stay? I have to finish yeah. this, you know? And and then I saw them in a little boat looking around for me. And so I was- Oh my God. I was like, oh, it's on. Were you hiding? I was hiding behind Still? these buoys and shit. Yeah, I was you hiding- You didn't want to be rescued? <laughs> I didn't want to be rescued. I was hiding behind the buoys. And uh, then I was swimming, like, you know, on my back. I was doing like, <laughs> so that they wouldn't see me splashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing like this thing. And I made, it to the, I made it to the other side. But when I got to the other side, it looked like I was there. Like it was coral reefs. So now I'm bleeding. I'm going through coral reefs and blood's everywhere. And I'm not even thinking about sharks. I'm just all cut up. And I'm, I'm like, I have the, you know, like when you're young and you're in PE and they make you run and, and you're you not a good shit. side. I had that side thing. What, and what is that called again? A fucking, a uh, 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 there's a word for it. A fucking, I forget. It was fucked yeah. up. Yeah, I was yeah, in the yeah. water. Side it was cramp, just like, yeah. and, and I was literally going, God, don't let me, like after all this shit I've been through, don't let me just drown out here. Yeah. And so I, uh. I made it to the other side and then it was like, you know, then all of a sudden I'm in like Lord of the Rings and it's like a swamp with these weird trees and it's kind what? of like twilight, it's getting dark. 
And I'm like, oh, this is. And then I see a snake go through the no. water. And I'm like, oh, this is fucked up. A big snake? Yeah, it was like a water moccasin, like just rolled through. And, I, you know, I was like. You're like, whoa, it's, jun- it's, it's Jungle up. Book time. And, and then I started laughing at myself. I'm like, what did you, you get idiot. yourself into? You're going to die of like a snake yeah, bite. Yeah, I was yeah. like, this is fucking the stupidest shit you ever could have yeah. done. And I broke off like a stick and I'm poking in front of me like That's in the movies. Smart. I'm like, you know, we're making fucking sure. Fucking bear to- girls over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, I made it work. Damn. And then the craziest part is I finally make it up onto the beach and I'm like fucking exhausted. And yeah. I crawl up on the beach like, you know. <gasps> Like fucking Tom Hanks. And like, like Tom fucking, Hanks, yeah. I'm like, uh, oh my God, and I roll up on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> and I roll up on the beach and I'm laying there. And I hear, what the fuck happened to you? And I look up and they speak Patois there. So it's like English, but it's like. What the fuck happened to you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like, even what know. happened to you, man? Yeah. And I'm like, so I'm, I'm uh. Were you I bit by up, anything or anything? I wasn't bit. I was all cut up. Yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, I wasn't, I was there. I was yeah, happy. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I looked up. And there's some Rasta fool, isn't it? And he's like, what the fuck happened to you? And I was like, I swam from that rehab. And he's like, no one swims out there. There's sharks out there. Is that what he said right away? Yeah, first thing. He goes, there's sharks out there. And I was like, homie, I just swam. Trust me. I just rolled across that whole shit. And he's like, Britney Spears is at that rehab. Dead. And I was like, she ain't there now. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, I was like, well, that's where I came from. And he's like, wow. He's like, you're fucking crazy. So. He he's totally interested. It is like the best shit that's happened to him. Right. And uh, I whip out this little map. I'm like, so check it out. And he's his name's Zion. Yeah, of course, and, of course it is. And uh, Zion I'm like, means God, right? He was so. at that point. He was God. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I got I got uh, I showed him the map, and I was like, I need to get to this part. And he's like, You're here. So somehow I'd like come up right in in the hood. Right. Your fucking drug radar was still working, even though <laughs> you're still... all fucked up. It's like, boop, 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 boop. So, yeah. still fucking so, found the drugs. So, yeah, I, I, I drug, showed up right drug in this sniffing spot, dog. Yeah, and I pulled out my little baggie of money. I was like, I need to find some cocaine. He's like, I got you. He's like, my brother is the general, and I was like, the general. And he meant like the general of the ghetto. Like he, he was like, we have all the cocaine. I'm all thinking of those commercials with the general. Yeah, it's, it's all general <laughs> the insurance. General insurance. Yeah, it's that guy dressed up. He so, sells coke so secretly. So the general, I guess, like I, I just, you know, and 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 this turned into a major ordeal. Like, stop. I, he he walked me through this shanty town. Wait, where are the rehab people? They they gave up on me. I'm, they're they're gone. I'm, I'm I'm I've escaped. So now I'm now I'm in the shanty town. Oh my god. Okay, wait. We're gonna take a really really quick break, and then we're gonna get back. With Seth and hearing about his crazy fucking story escaping rehab on Worse First. Okay, guys, we're back. I know that was probably an intolerable break because this is like the pivot of where we needed to be. You escaped the rehab. You swam across the fucking ocean. You reached Cocaine Island. <laughs> I reached Cocaine. You met the fucking general, his brother. He comes, Zion. He's on the beach. He's ready to fucking greet you and take you to the cocaine. You got your little zip box bag of money. Right. And was it dry? It was dry. I, I had, you know, and and normally, you know, it wasn't a lot of money, but there it was a lot of money. Right. So I right. Like, Two hundred dollars, you could buy the whole island. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> like, I, I was rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So exactly. I, I I had it going on. So so I I said, take me, you know, to your leader. So <laughs> dead. <laughs> and uh, we uh, we start walking. And it's like totally out of movie, man. We're we're, we're walking through like burnt cars and Stop. like shanties. Like I, I I was in South Africa. Like they have those really ghetto parts, you know, of the world where there's just like people like. And I was like, yo, like he's like cops don't even come here. This is like, it's like the apocalypse. This is like yeah. He's like this is, but you're safe because you're with me. And I'm like okay, homie. I'm from L.A., dude. I'm not worried about it. But wow. like, I was like okay. I'm, I'm with the right guy. So somehow I just, and so we're walking through and there's all these people peeking out of their little like houses. And he's like, this guy, tattoo man, he's with me. So he's shouting that to everyone. Shouting it to people they as we walk by. And watch. all these little kids start running next to me like I'm a Muhammad Ali. And I'm like bleeding and I'm all dirty. And they're like, tattoo man, tattoo man. And oh my God. <laughs> and so we're like rolling through the streets of this little ghetto. And yeah. he takes me back to his, uh, his shanty. Uh-huh. And we roll in. And like when we roll in, it's crazy. Man. Yeah. It's like. There's a, and I love this kind of shit. Yeah, you know, this is, so. I would be shitting my pants, but you weren't scared. 
no, I was super happy that I made it <laughs> to. Right. What about water and food? Like, were you thirsty, hungry? Yeah, I was, but like, I had one thing on my mind, and 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 I had just eaten a meal. That's why probably why I got the cramp. But before you left, that, so you were yeah. Up. I mean, I I had been on drugs for a while. I was used to not eating. You know, wow. like, it was like you know, like that's why I was going to rehab. Yeah, it wasn't like yeah. I was eating a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> You're like I was very skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. uh, we go in there, and there's like a. It's like at a movie, man. There's a there's a car rim, and a guy's like around this little car rim, and they're cooking a chicken in the motherfucker, and homeboy rolls up to the guy, and he just kicks him. It's like they're they're brutal out there. Right? He kicks him, and the guy like scurries off into the bushes. He kicks a guy. He kicks the guy cooking the chicken, and then he offers me some chicken. He's like, "Yo, man, you want some chicken?" What the? Fuck? So I'm like, "It's like Waterworld." Have you seen that movie? <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. So. Uh, so I, I have this little piece of chicken, and and uh, he's like, "So give me the money," and I give him the money. All of he, it. I just hand him the bag. I'm like, "Let's do this." Yeah. And uh, he's like, "You want some cocaine? I got some cocaine." And he goes over to a tree, and he reaches up in this tree, and he sticks his arm way up into the tree, and I'm like, "Okay, it's on." Oh my. And he God. reaches out and he pulls out a fucking gun, and I'm like, "Oh great! Oh, now I'm getting jacked." No. Right. He pulls out a gun. And he goes like this, and he sticks it in his pants, and then he reaches in the tree again, and he pulls out this big, like, bag wrapped in, like, it's wrapped in, like, you know, paper bags. Yeah. Opens it up, and it's like, it's like a quarter key. He's like, there you go. All for you. He's like, there you go. You want some cocaine? There's some cocaine. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So I was like, Okay. And he like <laughs> you just stuck your whole head in the back. Yeah, I was just like, oh my god. So oh. like you know, be careful what you wish for. So right. So, you know, about a week later. A week? <laughs> yeah. Like, wait, 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 wait. I go what? in. Yeah, like about Why a week later, rehab? I got the whole place on lock. Like, like you prob- stayed there for a week. I was out there, I think, for eight days, nine days, nine. It was like nine days. Okay. Why were the rehab people not like looking for you? Well, they had kind of written me off. They didn't know what to do because there's it's a huge place. They thought you died. But the police were notified. Like, they were looking for me, but the right. police didn't come to this part of town. So I'm kind of, like, chilling. Um, it wasn't really a week later. It's like, flash forward four days, okay. and I'm in this shanty. And, and you're doing coke. Me, I'm doing coke, and I got this little, like, shanty bar next door that I'm doing graffiti on the outside. I'm doing their sign, and they're giving me free drinks. So I got, like, the whole place rigged. I'm getting free drinks. I got a bunch of cocaine and, and, uh, and where are you sleeping? I was not really sleeping. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're all, Small. bitch, I had a huge fucking bag of cocaine. Yeah, I wasn't sleeping. Where does sleep come into the equation? <laughs> fucking nowhere. I was napping. I'm um, dead. But, you uh, close your eyes for two minutes. That's good. I'm awake. <laughs> so the, uh, yeah. So, it, I mean, it, it was insane. Basically, this guy, like, and so over the, I mean, there's some funny parts. He was picking me for information. So, like, who are you? Why were you at this place? And I'm like, man, you wouldn't know me. You wouldn't know me. Did you have your phone or anything? You had nothing, nothing. right? You had no Not phone because they took it. Nothing. All I had was cocaine, and 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 it was kind of creepy there. There was some shit happening. Like it was ghetto. Was there like, people getting killed? Did you see anybody get killed? Yeah. Well, that that happened eventually. Like, not killed, but I saw a guy like he was not like he was fucked up. But um. There was, like, some dude that was, like, beating some girl that I thought was really fucking upset about. But, like, I kept quiet. And it was he just, was like, I was, some like. girl? Aww. Yeah, there was, like, the neighbors yeah. were, like, you know. It was, it, was, it was, like, so there was moments, but I was so high. I was just, like, dude, this place is crazy. Mm-hmm. And then this guy, like, built this, he, you know, I was, like, you wouldn't know my band. And he's, like, what is your band? And I was, like, you know that song? And he's, like, that's my favorite song. And he starts doing the bass line. He's like, oh, come, my lady, come, come, my lady. And I was like, oh, my God, this guy knows. Wow. Out of all the people in the world, he knows yeah. my song. And that's how like, much reach you have. That's a how fucking, much reach I have, fucking right? poverty yeah. drinking <laughs> island in Antigua full of cocaine. Yeah, and they're bumping crazy town. Wow. So, so now he starts thinking bigger. He's like, can you get money sent to you? Oh, no, like hold you ransom. Yeah, like he, all this shit's happening. And I'm just like, this guy's got plans. Yeah. And he's like, me and you make a good team. Like, now he wants to manage me. You know, so... Um, what was it? It was Zion. This is Zion. Zion. Okay, like okay, he's ready. Yeah, he's yeah. ready to you know run off into the sunset with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm just like yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so he, like basically what happened is we started. He's like, man, we we're out of money. 
we need to go into town and get some money. Okay. He's like, so I'm going to tell these people who you are. We'll get some money. You can like uh, sing at a bar or something. Sing. I'm dead. Talent show status. <laughs> like, God, sing your song. I don't have a band. Just right. fucking sing, He's bro. like, just yeah. sing that shit. So yeah. I'm like, I'm like, let's do this. Acapella. <laughs> no. Sounds so like I shit. go into fucking town and it's the cricket playoffs. And I'm tore up. Like, I got one outfit. Is this, like, town, like, nice? Is it, like, town? It's nice. Town? It's a tourist attraction. Okay, like, okay, okay. I go into town. It's the cricket payoffs. I'm like, I'm okay. not a big cricket fan. What but the fuck's Those cricket? motherfuckers know who I am. So all these, these drunk cricket players fucking Stop. are in, like, fucking, you know, Abercrombie and Finch. And they're, like, fucking <laughs> crazy towns in the house. Abercrombie and Finch. Yeah. They're, they're all yeah, great. You know, these little polo shirts my music and shit, dead. you know. But they're, yeah. like, and they're, like, I'm literally running into fans. Like, yeah, all, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, crazy towns. Yeah. Because you're recognizable. Like you're, yeah, you're, I have the stars and shit, you know? And so so the next thing you know, like, I'm in some huge cricket party. And, like, the guy, like, rigs it for me to go up and do Butterfly. And I'm getting paid, like, a, getting paid like 800 bucks to get up Zion? and do one song. Zion is Zion's motherfucking me. connected. He's hustling, yeah. Shout out to Zion. <laughs> Shout I out mean, to not Zion. really, because you gave yeah. him drugs, but, you know, kind of. <laughs> kind of, right. So uh, <laughs> next thing you know, like, I'm playing butterfly for fucking all these cricket players and they all want to take pictures with me and i'm telling them like yo i escaped from this rehab you got coke all over your face yeah i'm like i'm like i'm a little short right now maybe you could like give me some money and all these cricket players are like oh man that's crazy are you all right here here's 100 bucks here's 50 bucks so i we we end up leaving there like as i am was the happiest guy in the world we left with like a couple grand like Stop. fools are giving me like they're like here man here's some here's my jacket here's some clothes like Everyone wanted to take care of me because they're like, you escaped rehab, that's the best shit. And they're all drunk, wow. you know? So I left there, you know, and it wasn't like a huge amount of money, but for- the For fucking that little island, it was like <laughs> you were the fucking minister. Uh, yeah, I was minister. running shit. Yeah. So, so uh, this went back and I went back and then he started like- Really masterminding. No, because he started like, what happened is we went and got more blow, right? Oh. And Was he doing the blow too? He wasn't. I was just, <laughs> he wasn't, he was thinking. <laughs> He was all business. He was all watching. <laughs> he's, he's like, like do some more. He's like, do some more. So he gets me some more, and I hear him tell the guy, like, we're going to bring you back the money once it, the money is sent to him. And he's, like, showing me on his fo- on the phone, like, this is who this is. He escaped the expensive rehab. So now he's, like, making deals that are making me feel uncomfortable because, like, oh. I'm owing other gang members money. And I'm like, don't, yo, homie, I was like. Don't do that. Don't do that yeah, shit. Yeah, get you in trouble. And and I was like, I, I just felt like shit was getting a getting little out shady. of control. Plus, at I, that point, four days in, you're <laughs> like, I feel like after, you know, I lived on Cocaine Island for four days, then I kind of noticed things were kind of shady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. It took you right. fucking four days. Yeah, it took me a minute. I mean, like, it was weird. Like, I lived, I slept in, like, a broken down car that was on fire and they grilled chicken in the back. But, like, you know, four days later, it took shit me Shit was time. a little shady. <laughs> after the effects, where, you know, after. I'm dead. I'm so, dead. I, I uh. Yeah, so he had a cell phone. I would have fucking called like nine one one. It wasn't really like I forget what it was. It, someone had a cell phone. Like he was, he, he yeah. googled us. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. Like, I was a little out of it, but yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. He was like, "This is this guy." Right, you right. Know? They they were looking at, at me, and yeah. Uh, so then what happens? So then now he's starting to make shady deals, and now I'm in the bar painting this. This I did this. It was called the King's Bar. So I did. Are like you really big, good at graffiti? I'm pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's I'm dope. Pretty good. I've been doing right. it my whole life. So cool. So I, I don't even understand how it happened, but this yeah. guy had like a box of spray paint. And he was like, man, go for it. You know, I think I think I was high and drawing in his bar. And he was like, yo, could you do something? You're all like, this looks so good. It's all stick figures. <laughs> like, but you're so fucked up. You're like, it's like Picasso, bro. Like, <laughs> you look at it now, it's all just like. Smiling. Yeah, I wonder if it's still there. But That'd be crazy. Anyway, the bartender was like, man, you were like, I'm worried about you. Like this oh, guy that you're hanging out with. Bad. He like murdered a couple of people a few weeks ago and he's like the most feared. His brother is like the, the biggest gangster in the area and this is his brother who's just, so basically like Scary. people started whispering to me like, Be careful. are you okay bro? Yeah, 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 you safe? Blink twice. And I was like, <laughs> he loves me. Oh my God. And I was like, I feel like you I got- Stockholm syndrome. He hurt me, he <laughs> we needs love me. each other. Yeah, he I needs mean, me, yeah. you know? So anyway, uh, so we're in this little bar and there's like a little, shanty party going on yeah and i'm like the only white boy in there and this guy bumps into me and he starts going you fucking skinhead oh and shit, shit. flared up right and i'm like yo because everyone on the island's like black right most of them well i mean 
Yes, no. natives are natives are black. Are yes, black, it's very, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. not everyone on the island. So you're like the right. only, pretty much like the only white guy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I could see that. I was. Uh, yeah, you're I was fucking okay. American History X looking ass. Right, like, right. like oh, I fucking saw that movie. <laughs> like I fucking know who you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. like fucking skinhead. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, chill, homie. You're ruining my high. <laughs> you know, calm the fuck down. And uh, damn. And while I'm in this bar, and there's like activity going on, like people are fucking dancing and shit yeah. and it's like this little bar and my fucking zion comes through with a machete bam just sticks that motherfucker in homeboy's back like in the middle of the bar and i'm like yo chill homie no yeah i was like a machete and he's like, in the back he's like don't you fucking call and he's smacking it with him and i got hit in the knee when he pulled it back i got hit in the knee so now i'm like fucked up and you're bleeding I, well, n- no, it like oh, it, just hit you. It hit the back me of it. hard, okay, man. Okay, okay. It was fucked yeah. up. Like yeah. it just hit my kneecaps. So right, I was right. Just, he's swinging it around, and he was getting all crazy. And I was like, "Chill out. It's okay." He just and did he kill this guy? He didn't. He, the guy was like cut on his back. There's blood everywhere, and he's hitting him with the thing. It was like it was just not the kind of shit that happens in clubs in L.A. I was just like, "This well, is definitely not." Yeah, I was. You know, I was like, "This is the real deal." Like, this is some. Some shit. So anyway, I love how at that point you're like, "It's the real deal." When they're <laughs> this, pulling out machetes, like yeah. days before, it was not the real deal. Now, I was like, "This shit is." Now like, I'm getting worried. Yeah. yeah like, okay. It takes a lot to to worry you. To worry me, but yeah. but I was like, "Yeah, this is fucked up." And yeah. I'm sure the coke made me a little more paranoid. Paranoid. Yeah, like, for sure. Fuck. Oh, and yeah. after the you know, and it all started coming together. Like the guy told me he's dangerous. Oh, the this, God. the that. So what do you do? How do you told get me out there's of this? no police. So. I, you know, I How just fucking, I, I try to calm it down. I, I, and now I'm doing therapy. And I'm like, Zion, man, you got to calm down. Yeah. I yeah. was like, that was unnecessary. Homie. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, you know, no one fucks with you. And I was like, okay, Zion's got my back. Yeah. So <laughs> he's ready to kill for me. Yeah. So um, then, then I just got to the point where, oh, yeah, they started saying they're going to retaliate. That guy was from another gang across. And so... We're in this hut and Zion's like tripped out, like, and fucking, you know, there's cars driving by and he, he's like, they're going to shoot up the shanty. And I'm like in there fucking on coke going, this oh is fucked God. up. Oh my God. I was like, this is, now this is a little too much for me. Yeah. You know, like now, 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 now this n- is a little now too I much. Now I want to get sober. Now I want to get sober. Really? I'm scared straight. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should go back. So now I tell the guy, I was thinking about going back to the rehab, you know, I think this has been better rehab for me than any place I've been. Like, this is making me want to get sober. Holy so, fuck. So, the guy's like, well, he'll never let you leave. I'm going to have to get you the fuck out of here. Who will never let you leave? That guy that came Zion? out? Zion? No, oh. no. He was like. Oh, Zion will never let you he's leave. He's like, Zion will never let you leave. So, yeah. like, we work out some plan that he's going to roll up outside the shanty at night. Yeah. And I'm going to run and dip into his car. And we're going to just take off. The, right. the bar owner wants right. to save me. He's like a Jesus thumper. He's That's like. nice. He wanted to save me. He's like, I got to get you the fuck out of here. So anyway, that happens. But before that happens, Zion's brother comes and I meet the general. And the general is a badass. But the general. I'm just imagining George Clinton. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> Shout out to George Clinton. That's my yeah, buddy. yeah, yeah. But um, so he comes and he's got dreads and he's a little bit more calculated, but gangster, like super gangster. And but he's smarter like, than Zion. And he like meets me and he's like, man. You don't want to be hanging out with this kid. About his own brother? Yeah, he's like, oh, he's fuck. he's got some shit going on up here. You know, I love him, but it's not a good look, bro. He cray cray. So, and uh, basically, when he told me that, I was like, oh, I'm out. So I, I rigged up the thing, and, and it was late at night, and Zion was like drinking, like talking to some people, and I just dipped into this guy's car. back of his car and fucking I laid down in the back seat and we fucking rolled out of there. Where did you guys go? Well, I went into town. Okay. And uh, this story goes on. But anyway. No, I, okay, tell me. I, so you got into town. I roll then- into town with this guy and he drops me off. And he's like, just call the rehab because you have no passport and they'll come and get you. So he drops me off and by this time I'm limping. My legs all fucked up and swollen like a motherfucker. So now I'm like dirty, been on dope for like, you, you know, fucking I look scary it. as yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like walk up to this family, you know, I'm like, can I borrow your phone? And they're oh like, oh my God. And they're like, Hell like grabbing no. their kids. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So now I'm like, damn, man, shit is real. So all this was very humbling for me. At the same time, it, it made me 
So then you call. You eventually got a phone to call. I got a phone. Had. I found these male stewardesses who are like crazy town. <laughs> they're like, damn, things are. They're like, <laughs> you okay? They're like, baby, what's wrong with you? Oh, you know, they were like, no. oh my god. They're like, you got to get out of here. And, yeah. And so they uh, they let me use their phones, and and I called the rehab, and the rehab was like, oh hell no, you're not coming back here. You're a legend. Like apparently, like all the people there, like. I was like a cat lost at sea and and, yeah. and no one had ever escaped. Yeah, and I was yeah, just yeah. kind of like had become like they're like, you're not coming back to this. Yeah, we can't. Fucker. We have we've made they're you like, a fable. Not already. only are you not coming back, but where the fuck are you? Because the police are looking for you and we need to send you home because you're our responsibility. So I was like, oh, oh fuck. And I hung up on him. I was like, oh, God. I'm not ready for that. So I ended up staying like an extra day. Um, How did you find somewhere to stay? Well, it, it was kind of like people were giving me because they recognized you. Yeah, the, so the, 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 the you. stewardess guys gave me some money. They were like, "Are you okay?" I was like, "I'm not ready." The police are looking for me now. They're like, wow. "Here, man." Good people are out yeah, there. Yeah, people are out there. There was I don't there think was I people that wanted that. to help me. I, I would have been scared of you. I would have been like, "Oh my god, what the fuck?" Like, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! I mean, I like your music, dude, but fuck, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people were scared, but but they uh, but they helped you. They helped me, and you know, it wasn't good to give me money at that point because right. then I found out that they have like cocaine bars. Like oh. it was fucked up, but anyway, I got drunk and ended up like finally working it up. Like, oh, I think I got on the phone. I called my sister. I was like, Mika, and she was like, "You fucking idiot!" Hung up on me. I was like, "Man, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here." Is your family was your family so over your shit at that so point? Over my like shit. they're not yeah. like fucked up. They were not. Yeah, they were not cool with it. Yeah. And I was like, tried. I wanted to explain to them like, no, it's probably a good look. Like out of all the times I call you, kind of want to get me out of here. Yeah. So. uh I got on the phone with my sister. She's like, you're a fucking idiot. Call the rehab. They're going to fly you home. So I had to like sit there and fucking they came and all these cops came and the fucking white van came. And uh, what did they do? They basically just fucking sat me down and they took me to the airport and they had the cops wait with me until my flight came and they put me on this plane. And then I get on the plane and I'm sitting next to this dude and fucking my knees all fucked up and he's like, you want some Vicodin? No! <laughs> what the fuck? It was just chaos. Jesus! Like, yeah, it was chaos. So I, How are I, you supposed to get better when everyone keeps like... Yeah, everyone keeps... You oh. know. But anyway, so I made it back and, and I ended up going to... Uh, you know, it took me another... Year or so. Ten, ten years. Ten years ten, after that. To get sober. I mean, I had moments of sobriety. Yeah. But nothing real, you know? It was. Is this the longest you've been sober? This is the longest Two I've years? been sober, yeah. You're going to stay sober. I'm going to stay sober. Yeah. You I feel great about it. You can always call me or somebody like, I mean, I'm fucking boring as fuck, but I don't do any drugs, you know? No, absolutely. You got people. I, I know. No, got I've, people. I've got a yeah. whole support group. Yeah, it was yeah. It was kind of like, I went through a lot of, a lot of shit. It happened yeah. to me. I feel but like, I, I've been like learning the program, but not being ready for it, and it just it clicked at one point. Like now, now, like I was at yoga at five thirty this morning. Like, that's I'm, I'm, fucking I'm, awesome. I'm on, I'm on my shit. Like I, I, t- I take care of myself now. I eat healthy. I'm, I'm in a relationship with someone who's sober. I know. And, and, uh, I met your I'm wife. Engaged. Yeah, she, you're, you're, I'm engaged. Or you're married. You're engaged. I call her my wife. She's beautiful. We're engaged. Yeah, we're getting married. And, and I'm so happy for you. I love her. She's sober too. She keeps me in. And she's so pretty and so cool. And I'm like, I mean, I only met her for a little bit, but like, I'm, I can tell. Like, you yeah, know, she's right calm away. and she's cool. Calm. Yeah. And healthy. And healthy. Good. That's so. like where it's at, you know, like surrounding yourself with these people. But this is a fucking crazy story. Some crazy This shit. was a crazy worst first. This might be one of the best worst first we've ever had. Okay. Dude, you fucking killed it. Like Thank I'm gonna you. clap for you right now. Nina would clap too, but she's only got small feet, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm clapping for both of us. That was fucking amazing. Right on. I'm so proud of you. Thank what you an so much. Thank you for story. having me on the show. Dude, of course, and yeah. and you know what I think? I feel like you have you written a book? No, I, I want to write a book. Right you now I'm going to put out a... some new music, but I'm yeah. working on a book. I, okay. I, I've started, and it's, you know, I need to... Okay, let's plug everything now, because we're getting towards the end of the yeah, episode. So it. I want to say, what is this clothing line? This is amazing. Fuck this around This is the new Crazy Town out. merch. That... This shit's dope. I Thank love you. this. I like that it says fuck around and find out. Is that some shit Zion said to you? Right, yeah, that's some shit. Right? <laughs> it says Zion underneath. Story Wait, of my did life. Did you ever hear from that guy? I, I haven't. You Has know. he ever tried to reach out I, to I've you? I've thought about it. No. Don't. Scary. No, no. He no, just don't, comes don't. and finds you. It was just a moment. I, I can't. I'm not even trying to go anywhere near well, that. Well, thank you, Zion, for not killing him. That's rad. And then what's this? This is more shirts? These are hoodies. The The name of my new record is uh, The Beautiful and Insane. 
Wow. And that sounds like my life story. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. Right. I just compliment myself. I'm beautiful that's and right. insane. <laughs> totally. Um, this is rad. And where can everyone find everything? I mean, I know you're on Instagram. As I'm on, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm on Instagram, the real crazy town. The real crazy town on I, Instagram. I've, I've been not connected to social media for, for so long. A long time. For good reasons. It's for good not reasons. very good for your mental yeah. health, but you know. Um, but yeah, okay. So the real crazy town on Instagram and then tour dates is what? Crazytown.com. Tour dates. Uh, I post, a, I know. I mean, you can go. Yes. My, my manager runs my Facebook. Okay, great. Great. Facebook, there, Facebook, Crazy Town. Crazy Town. Just look it up. They'll find the you. Instagram is basically me. It's verified, guys. It's like anything that you see with the little blue check mark is verified, and that's how you know you're in the right spot. So the real Crazy Town. Seth, you fucking were awesome, dude. Uh, like, this you. is a great, great, great episode. I'm so happy that you came and shared and you all look this great stuff. great in the hat. What's up? What's up, guys? I'm going to wear this hat forever. Um, dude, thank you so much for being here. Is there anything else that you want to shout out before? Send my love to Tommy. Send my love to Tommy. My love yeah. to Tommy, too. And, uh, guys, thank you so much for listening to Worst First. Thank you so much to everyone that's tuned in every week. I read all your feedback. I mean, we got over 1,500 reviews on iTunes, and they're, like, all positive, like, most of them. Five-star reviews. There's a little haters in there, here and there, you know. People from high school probably they still don't like me, but uh, it's all good. Um, I appreciate everyone that's been tuning in and you know messaging me about the show and loving the show so thank you it wouldn't be here without you and make sure to go check out Seth on Instagram the real crazy town and check out his new dope merch and his tour dates coming up and we will see you next week on worst firsts yay you fucking killed it is that good holy shit